I want you happy, and this is my first choice to speak. <laughs> Have you ever thought about how it feels to go do work and not get paid? Many college athletes spend as much time practicing and competing as people do working full-time jobs. Being on a college team can be as demanding as a full-time job. College University generates so much revenue during the year that it is only fair to the players that they get a cut of the money. With college football right around the corner, so many college students are already at school working hard. I believe that they deserve to get paid for hard work and the amount of money brought in each week would make it fair to the students at the university. Not only am I a huge college sports fan, but it is my dream to play college baseball after high school. When doing research for this speech, I looked at NCAA rules and read articles to identify problems and find solutions. College football programs generate revenue in a variety of ways, including ticket purchases, corporate sponsors, endorsements, license fees, television contracts, capital campaigns, and student athletic fees. College athletes should be paid to allow them to cover their expenses not covered by scholarships so they can complete their education. College students across the country are not only full-time students, but they are also full-time athletes. They are bringing in millions of dollars to universities and deserve to get paid. These athletes generate millions of dollars in profits for schools and coaches, conferences, and network executives, everyone but themselves. A possible solution for paying college athletes would be a salary cap depending on the sport that is played, with the money being distributed depending on the talent of the athlete. Ben the benefits of paying college athletes are that they can help support themselves and their families. The players would stay motivated and stay at the college longer. The possible consequences of paying athletes would be financial in responsibilities from the athletes who do not know how to manage their money they are receiving. To help us further understand why college athletes should be paid, we will look at all the problems and needs of college athletes and then look at possible solutions. College sports takes as much time as a full-time job. According to CollegeSportsMadness.com Articles top 10 reasons of why college athletes should be paid various of statics why that college athletes spend at least 40 hours per week dedicating to their sport including games and training in a gym while other students have time for the job athletes won't be able to travel between school and practice College athletes must also pay for expenses for their pockets. There are additional expenses like clothes for special events, food traveling, home, and medical expenses. A 2019 study conducted by National College Players Association found that 85% of college athletes live below the federal poverty line. Now that I have looked at all the problems that a student athlete can face, let's explore some solutions. A salary of any kind would help a student athlete invest in their future. If college students were given a salary, they would not only leave school with the college degree, but they had significant, significant savings, which would help them begin their lives. A possible, although there are possible solutions that can be confidential, Let's look at the some benefits of consequences of paying these amazing athletes. Professional athlete McComb Lemons talks about how student athletes would be able to support themselves and their families in an article titled, Should College Athletes Get Paid? Lemons explains that athletes would be able to afford decent meals 
and possibility send more send more money back home according to the website golf strategy many of these college athletes come from low class families and while in college still live below the poverty line these athletes often leave school early become the pressure to provide money for their families a possible consequence of paying athletes would be financial strain on universities on the website pro www.procon.org the ncaa argues that many colleges and universities would have to offer fewer scholarships and the remainder remaining scholarships would be distributed unfairly to top football and men basketball players because those sports bring in the most revenue in conclusion student athletes spend more hours a day between school practice competition that most people do in a full-time job while they do do get school scholarship money many of them do not get a full scholarship and even those with full scholarships still can't cover the expenses my final request is for you to take action and help get college athletes the money they deserve and make sure everyone is getting their fair share. College athletes should be paid to allow them to cover their expenses not covered by scholarships so they can compete, complete their education. A salary of any kind will help student athletes invest in their future. In college students, were given a salary, they would not only leave school with a college degree, but with significant savings. Student athletes would not be able to do not support themselves, but send extra money home to their families. College athletes bring in millions of dollars a year to universities and deserve a piece of pie. Universities could offer salary caps or put money in trust fund for later use. Paying college athletes is a good idea because they invest the same time and effort as most of American workers. These are my two cousins and that's my mom. Thank you for listening to my speech.